It's December 24th, and I left a lot to the last minute. Let's go vegan shopping, zooming down the aisles, yeah. Let's go vegan shopping, zooming down the aisles, yeah. Today, it's gonna be a fun day. We're not gonna be looking at any meat, any murder, no dairy, no eggs, only vegan foods. You guys ready? Come on, hang out with me. Let's see if we can find some vegan burgers. There they are, meatless burgers. Sans viande, that means without meat, that's French. Plant-based, okay? Has anyone ever tried this brand before? I haven't, but it says 22 grams of protein per serving, that's pretty good. Now, these are also plant-based burgers. These are beyond meat. Okay, you get six of them in there. And I have tried these and I do like them. I don't have them that often though because I just don't eat processed foods that often. But if you are looking for a Beyond Burger, that's where you can find it. Here's another brand, Light Life, plant-based. This is great. This is so wonderful that we don't have to pay for murder. We can simply choose the cruelty-free option. So the reason I'm showing you all of these brands is so that you will be familiar with what they look like and you can find them in the stores. Now we get to some vegan cheeses. Have you ever seen this brand before? Nafsika. This is a brand that I believe is made in Quebec here in Canada. And it's this particular flavor is Provolone. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well, but yeah, that's a package you can get. Here's another brand that you can get. This one's Daya or Daya. These are different types of cruelty-free cheese. And the reason they're great is because no cows had to die. Vegan cheese, vegan cheese, vegan cheese is tasty. Vegan cheese, vegan cheese, vegan cheese is cruelty-free. Go to YouTube and Google dairy. It's scary. Stop stealing milk from baby cows. Be vegan and make the animals happy. But in the dairy industry, they take away baby boy cows and they murder them. They steal their milk and they enslave their mothers. And that's a good enough reason to try a different type of cheese. Cruelty free, dairy free. So now you know a couple of brand names. Here's another one. This is called Nuts for Cheese. And this is great to spread on crackers. I've tried these before too. That one's a brie flavor. Those ones look like triangles. And then you also have this, which is a silk brand. Now remember silk is a type of material that people use sometimes to make ties and scarves and you should not use silk, but the brand of milk called silk or the brand of cheese called silk is fine. And these are different little slices that you can put in your child's uh, lunchbox if you wanted to and another brand there beside called Violife and here's some Parmesan Nafsika Parmesan style this one's shredded so you can put that on pizza I don't know if you know or not but Oreos are vegan surprise surprise they really are so if you want to buy a cookie you can buy that And of course, all of these things are vegan. Potatoes and onions, turnips. Everything in the fruits and vegetable aisle is totally fine. All kinds of different onions. You've got pineapple you can buy. Sweet, delicious, healthy. These are whole foods, kiwis. Got some watermelon in the back there and different other kinds of melons. Try a variety of foods. Try to have 30 different kinds of foods during the day. There's pears, these are pomegranates, and another type of pear. There's so many different varieties that you can buy. Everywhere you look, clementines. Lime. Lime is vegan, why not? Squeeze them in some water. Make some juice, lemons. Look how beautiful this section is. Eat the rainbow. 
oranges. Strawberries are vegan. Of course you like vegan foods. Who doesn't like strawberries? And look at that. Blackberries and raspberries. There are so many vegan foods to eat. There's no excuse for animal abuse when there are so many choices. There's walnuts that you can buy. Pecans. Brazil nuts. Almonds. You can get them raw or you can get them pre-baked. Apples. Delicious, crispy, so simple to eat. Tomatoes. Delicious in sandwiches garlic great to make a pizza with unfortunately there is too much plastic on here and styrofoam that's really sad that's not good for the environment but all right avocado like look at this carrots absolutely thousands and thousands of vegan foods all over the store just buy whatever you want, buy everything, and then just start Googling how to make it. Look at these cute little potatoes. How cute would they be? As a side dish or as a big lump in the middle of your plate? Cauliflower. And of course, tofu. You can buy regular tofu, which has a little bit more water in it. You can buy a silky type of tofu, which is used more for different spreads and that sort of thing. You can buy all different flavors. I mean, they just, just think of any spice and they've probably done it, put it in some different kinds of tofu. You know, there's naturals and then there's some of them are spicy. Some of them are just used to be meant to be cut up in cubes. This is a brand called Eve's that makes a meat alternative. And this is typically the kind of tofu that we buy. We buy the hard one usually. We cut it into little cubes and we throw it into soups and stews. You can also scramble it up. And here's some more meat alternatives, a sort of a type of bacon, and then there's tempeh. Just be really curious and try different things. Now you know what these products look like. So when you go to the store, look for these brand names. And when you see them, let me know. Just contact me and say, hey, Miss Katie, I bought the uh, products that you showed in your video. This is Gusta. This is a type of seitan that you can cut up and eat. And here we have uh, something called creton. You can spread this on crackers. No animal cruelty is involved. No animals needed to die. No animals needed to be separated from their homes. Here's a cheese that a lot of people like. It's a brand called Chow. I also like it. But again, I don't buy that much of this type of stuff. I don't buy meat replacers. I don't buy that much cheese. These are things that I might eat maybe once every week or two, but very, very, like rarely. Mostly I eat whole foods. I just buy any kinds of fruits and veggies and I make different kinds of stews and, uh, and soups and smoothies and things like that and salads. Look at all this beautiful stuff. Truly a gift from the universe. Look how pretty this is. No artist could paint something and come up with something, create something as beautiful as this because it is edible art. Just gorgeous. Look at these colors, yellows and oranges and reds and greens. Fantastic. And this, do you know what that is? That was ginger. Look at these beauties. Sweet potatoes, more kinds of apples. 
heavenly. Baby spinach, you can eat that just straight out of the container. Amazing. Arugula. So many different ways to make salads. Oh, I'm gonna get this today because I'm gonna make this into a salad. This coleslaw, I'm gonna cut it up with a lot of broccoli. Uh, very finely and I just throw that all in just with some vinegar and some different kind of spices you can put some vegan mayo in there and stir that all together this makes a great side dish or even just as a main on this on the plate with a bunch of other different whole foods and you can just buy of course uh, different kinds of cabbage but if they pre-cut it for you sometimes that can be sort of a nice treat it saves you from doing the work yourself it's up to you and pistachios i mean how can you not like being vegan when you obviously already like so many vegan foods bananas 99 percent of the people like bananas i don't think i've ever met anyone who doesn't like a banana actually right so don't tell me you don't like vegan foods now dates are very sweet but they are extremely healthy and you can eat dates every day you can Blend those up and use them as a sugar alternative. Here we've got more almonds. Look at all this. Oh, and this we're gonna cook tonight. I'm gonna cut these up and I'm gonna put them in the oven with some red peppers. And that's gonna make a beautiful side dish because today is September, or sorry, December 24th. So it is Christmas Eve and we're gonna be putting all of these kinds of things on the table. Just cutting them all up. And we always have celery and onions handy as a base for a soup. I really am so disappointed about all this packaging here and they cut off a bunch of it, but what can you do? Now, if you're really pressed for time, you can buy something like this. Look, it's already pre-made and pre-pretty. You just open that up. If you're going to somebody's house, you can just buy something like this and just put it on the table. Everyone is gonna be happy. Everybody loves to munch on veggies and fruits. So beautiful. Fantastic. So many vegan things in the store. Coffee is vegan. Just make sure that you use some plant-based milks in there. And a lot of different bread is vegan and most of it is. Just check the label. Now today, because one of my kids is allergic to sesame seeds, we're going to be getting this kind of bun to make sure that it's okay for him. Uh, usually we would buy a whole grain, but then sometimes they have sesame seeds in them. And tea is vegan? All different butters. We got peanut butter. We got sesame tahini. Wonderful. Tahini is something that tastes great when you mix it into soup and stews. We've got different kinds of peanut butter here. Jam is vegan. Now I don't really buy jam anymore. I just put the fruit directly on my toast, but jam is vegan. Look at all these different flavors. <laughs> I'm looking for the beans right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time in this video to find them all, but now we've got wheat thins here, different types of crackers. You've got to read the label. These ones, when they're made out of rice, these ones are okay. They're vegan. Be careful with the brand that is called Triscuits. They have some of them that are vegan, and not all of them are, though. If they say cheese on them or tzatziki, like they, they have some sort of dairy in them, so you will not see that. It says contains milk, so no, don't get that. But here's another meat replacer. Black bean patties, put those on a burger. Amazing, just fry them up in a frying pan. There's another type of burger that's vegan. Another type, made with quinoa and chickpeas. Just experiment. If you don't like one type, get another. Crabless cakes. No need to deplete the oceans. Stock up on frozen veggies. Hip hip hooray. Stock up on frozen veggies. You can be vegan today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Stock up on frozen veggies, hip hip hooray. Stock up on frozen veggies. You can be vegan, you can be vegan. A maple syrup is vegan too. Yahoo! Peas are vegan. Corn is vegan. Edamame beans. You know, when's the last time you had any of those? Check the label. Check the label. Check the label. If it's vegan, it's okay. Check the label. Check the label. Check the label. If it's vegan, the animals will say, hooray. Well, I checked the label and the caramel flavor is vegan. And it's Christmas, so I'm getting some. All right, now we're getting to the ice cream area. Now you're looking for non-dairy, non-dairy, okay? Haagen-Dazs has some types of ice cream, but you're looking for the one that says non-dairy or dairy-free or cruelty-free. So this is something that you can get. See the label there, non-dairy. And then there's this kind as well, plant-based. That looks good. I haven't tried this type yet though. You guys let me know in the comments if you've tried this one. Vanilla flavor. Hmm. So many to choose from. There's another brand here called Magnum. Be careful though. You wanna get the one that says non-dairy. When you see the green packaging there, that's the one. Non-dairy means non-violent. No baby cows needed to be removed from their mothers or murdered. Nobody was stealing anyone's milk. Non-dairy. Yeah, these are good. Of course, you can buy kombucha. That's vegan. Different flavors here. This is not something that I buy regularly at all because it's quite expensive, but... And I don't usually buy orange juice that often. I just eat oranges. But this is the section I do get a lot of. I get soy milk. There's different brands. The silk brand is one you can get. There's all kinds of different flavors. There's the almond and coconut. Pour that on your cereal or into your coffee. Look at that cashew. Different brands. Look at that. Wonderful. Nobody should be, ever be saying that vegans don't make a difference. Look at, because of all of us, these brands now exist because we keep promoting them, we keep buying them, we keep reminding people that to be ethical, this is the greatest choice. So, now you know a bunch of different brands, Earth own silk and there's a little more ice cream over here this is a brand called so delicious made from soy these little sandwiches are super cute and they're good just a nice little treat have you guys tried these the problem is it's really hard to just eat one you think to yourself i need to have one but next thing you know you're eating three it's like really <laughs> It's not so great, but they do taste good. Oh, I got a big bag of this one, dill flavored. I'm gonna get this too. Mm -hmm. I don't usually buy this kind of stuff because it's high in salt and it's a processed food, but we are making exceptions because it's the holidays. And when family comes over, it's kind of fun to have some chips and some dip. Why pay for murder when you don't have to? Just buy any kind of vegan products. There are thousands of them to choose from in this store. And look, no cholesterol. There you go. Perfect. If you're buying chocolate chips because you wanna make chocolate chip cookies, make sure you get the vegan brand so that it doesn't contain any milk. We're getting these kind of hot dog buns and we're getting some flour because we're gonna be doing some baking and we're gonna be serving some vegan 
sausages. We're also getting today some different kinds of spices. We ran out of chili and some curry. So this is basically our haul here. We got a whole bunch of different stuff. Lots of Beyond Burgers today because we have a lot of people coming over and a whole bunch of different veggies. Well, thanks for hanging out with us. Happy holidays, everyone. See you in the next video. Let's follow that vegan teacher on YouTube right now. Let's help.